Hey, hi there, Pisces. Welcome to my channel. I'd like to thank you for tuning in to those energies and influences that are coming through for your weekend reading, September 20th to the 22nd of 2019. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, this is a condensed general reading. Please only take the portions that resonate with you. Okay, Pisces, off camera to save time, I've done a protective blessing. I've meditated over and shuffled these cards just for you. Your first card... It's the general atmosphere. It's the background and the basis of the matter. The Nine of Pentacles. Pisces, this is a really good card. Earth energy. This represents self-sufficiency, self-reliance. It's having to have discipline to get there. You're accomplished. This is someone's Venus in Virgo. This is having independence from financial concerns. There's a great harvest. And now you're going to be able to further your career and projects and enjoy a secure base. This has to do with well-controlled thought and solitary enjoyment of the good life, love of gardens and home, earned rewards, fruits of labor. This is someone that tamed their impulses just like the bird that they tamed on their arm. It may be a time to act with such discipline because you will accomplish much by taming your instincts. This is harnessing self-discipline. It could also be a time of self-reliance for taking charge of your own future, but the pressure is off for now. Or you may be craving more independence, or you may have already accomplished much and now it's time to indulge and pamper yourself. It's a time to take it easy and take your time. You've been working towards a goal. This is does not imply that you're devoid of relationships. It says you're at peace within and therefore you do not need constant companionship to feel contented. Here's your second card. This is the energy that's crossing over your path. Number seven of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck, the Chariot. This can be a Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This is a card of control. It's also a success card. It's a clear sense of purpose and control over the fortunes of nature, thus triumph over ill health, as well as money difficulties or enemies of any sort, including your own lower animal passions. This can also indicate travel and comfort. It's mental and physical powers that lead to fulfillment, and it's putting commitment to the test. Sevens are always about tests. This is a struggle or conflict of interest. You'll need to steer a middle course through opposing feelings, thoughts, and desires. You're using control and momentum, your willpower and determination, and victory is assured. This is conquest of mind over emotions. It can also indicate your car or transportation. It's someone who is victorious over the external problems of life. They have a confident personality. This is action and determination and it's triumph, overcoming obstacles. That's that little extra push hard that you can fix any trouble that arises. You're being in the flow with the rhythm of life. You're balancing carnal and spiritual forces. This is movement fueled with planning. And the Nine of Pentacles with the Cherry, that's a freelancer or, or going into business for yourself or doing a side job. It's doing things your own way. And now your third card. This is how it affects you. This can be your attitude. Number six of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck. The Lovers. This could be a Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. This is a card of choice. It has to do with the correctness of, of uh, correct thought. It is. It has to do with relationship and love and union, sexuality choice and temptation and attraction. It can be the struggle between sacred and profane love. It's the harmony of the inner and outer aspects of life, learning and growing through relationships with trials. This is a soulmate card being meant for each other. This is physical and emotional healing and alignment. It's the balance between desire and spiritual needs. Sometimes it's a difficult choice. It could be problems of a sexual nature. The angel above them stands for truth and strength found in their relationship. This is an important and usually long-lasting relationship. The angel 
Above them is the angel Raphael, that is the angel of air and communication. This could be pointing to a future relationship, or if it's concern, unconcerned to sex or love, then it can mean help from a lover or a friend. If you're single, it's time to let love come into your life. This card carries a blessing with it. There may be a need to heal a rift, or a romantic involvement is coming. This is a critical life decision with a love relationship, and you're at a crossroads. So act with your heart, and choose the best version of yourself. You're about to evolve into a higher plane of understanding. You need to communicate openly and honestly, and that will create harmonious and fulfilling relationships built on trust and respect. This is a blessed union. The chariot card with the lover's card, this is a serious emotional involvement or someone is testing another one's love. Your fourth card. It's the position of the future. It's the outcome, the results, and the advice. The Four of Swords, Pisces. This is air energy, represents rest, recuperation. It's a card of gathering up your strength and planning your next moves. You might want to keep some of these plans to yourself. This is someone's Jupiter in Libra. There's healing here. And there's going to be a change for the better. A relaxation of anxiety. Maybe a vacation. You might want to seek an expert for advice. This is incubating ideas. A time for a break. A retreat to a quiet place to recuperate from illness or work through a problem. Or get some fresh ideas. It's a needed rest to gain back your strength and you should be taking it easy. Stop and settle your spirit in order to rest after a hard time. There is a silver lining to this card because it's you that's in control. This is stabilizing the wounds that were received in the Three of Swords, recovering your strength, healing sleep and dreams, a needed relief from mental stress, you're hungry for quiet, so hang out that do not disturb sign. This is an end of conflict feeling detached from drama, and you're going to try to get enough sleep. And now your fifth card. It's the bottom of the deck card. It's the underlying issue. This is what's unseen. The Ace of Pentacles, Pisces. This is like having a mini sun in your reading. Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. This is a gateway card. It's the root of the Earth energy. This is prosperity, it's a healthy beginning, it's new money, new success, new opportunity, it's the beginning of gain and pleasure and beauty, a seed to be nurtured. It could be a new job opportunity, or a chance for promotion. It's a good time to start improving your home and begin building the foundation for the future. And if you spend time in nature, you'll find fresh inspiration. Do not overlook this gift. It needs to be nurtured to come to fruition. It just does not land in your lap. You're about to experience some great accomplishment, and money will now be able to be found to begin a new enterprise. This is in love. It's a fresh start, and you feel blessed and secure in this relationship. Or it could be a fresh start through work or business with a grounding influence. You're feeling motivated and ready for a challenge. This has to do with luck and recognition and a realization that you're on the correct path. And now your advice from the Oracle deck. Ask your guides by Sonia Choquette. You've got Shadow, Pisces. Card number 25, Divine Healers. Shadow. has to do with anger and vengeance, violation and spite. Although no one likes to admit it, we all have our dark sides and shadows, those less than flattering faucets of our personal personality that take delight in abusing and shaming others, and wielding power in the most unfair ways. Whether it's condescending remark to the slow-moving grocery beggar at the supermarket, the aggressive hand gesture direct directed towards the meandering driver on the road, or the belittling comment made to your unco unco uncooperative child. 
Many of us are guilty of hurting or deriding others at times. Your divine healers are present now to help you witness your shadow, lovingly making you aware that it's actually contempt for yourself and your vulnerabilities that fuel such hostility towards others. These gentle but powerful higher forces surround you in love and urge you to accept and embrace your weaker aspects, rather than harshly rejecting yourself by attacking those aspects in others. Ease up and be more tolerant of yourself. If you do so, these shadows will give away to light and healing. Your Divine Healer's message? Ask for help and accept our light. Thanks, you guys, Pisces. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up, and please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.